and welcome. I'm back with the three molds that I had shown in the previous video that I actually didn't start working on. I'm going to work on those now. One of them is a knot candle mold and then these two are just um, designs, you know, like an arch type design. So I am going to use cement to make these. So I will get that mixed up and I'll be right back. Okay, I now have my cement mixed, and on the knot specifically, I w I'm using white cement, but I want it to be very white, so I'm going to add some of the jesmonite pigment and white to my cement. I found that their pigments, the jesmonite pigments, actually do work well with cement. Okay, now that I have that mixed, I'm just going to put some into the knot. And then I'm going to grab my vibration plate because that'll help it actually get down in there. Now I'm going to start working on these two. Okay, all I've done is separated out some of the cement into two cups. And I'm going to add some pigment. I'm going to use this Nizza. And then I'm going to layer that back into this cup. Right. And then I'm going to put that into this smaller one. And again, I'm going to grab my vibration plate. And I need more. I'm going to go ahead and pour what I have left into this other mold, which is the plain white. Because my cement's starting to set up on me. Alright, I need to do this some more. Alright, pull that down and then put this one on. All right. I'm gonna mix a little more cement just to finish filling that mold. Okay, and on this one, I want it black. So I'm gonna use this jet pigment. Okay. I grab my vibration plate, put the 
this on top and then I'm going to pour it and then I'll turn it on. that down and then I will let these cure and once they're ready I will come back into mold and we'll see how they look. I'll be back. Okay these are now cured so I'm gonna go ahead and demold. I'm gonna start with this one. All right, this one is not easy to demold, just a heads up. So the easiest way to, when you go to demold this one is to pull this side first and then use that as leverage to get this side over here off. So pull from here and then start working on this side. At least that's what worked for me. All right, so we'll start with the knot. That turned out great. I love it. And this is just cement. I'm really impressed how well that turned out. All right, we'll look at this one. Okay, I'm super impressed because typically with cement, you don't see that kind of effect. So I'm very happy of how that turned out. And as a reminder, I was using these Colorberry Liquimint pigments and that turned out fantastic, to, considering it's cement. All right, last one. Again, awesome. Look at that. I'm not fond of that spot right there, but I like this side. I think the way I was able to actually accomplish this is that the um, bottom here wasn't 100% set when I poured the black. And then I use that vibration plate, and that makes the liquid specifically come up as this goes down. So I think that probably played a large factor in how I was able to get this effect. But I'm really pleased with how these turned out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and press the bell to be alert to future videos.